So, you think the federal government has expanded beyond what it was originally supposed to be. You think that governments at all levels are encroaching upon people's rights. You think that our way of life is correct. And you have thousands of followers across various platforms. So what are you going to do about it? If your answer was to own the libs in regard to something as stupid as a pointless confrontation between an old ass man and some dumb ass kids, um, then you're part of the problem. And you'll have to forgive me if you're one of the people that I deal with regularly on Twitter. Well, used to deal with regularly because I'm not on it regularly anymore. Um, but you'll have to forgive me. I don't mean this as a personal slight. Um, because I know many good people who are caught up in this nonsense. But it's time for people to just shit or get off the pot. What do you want to do? You're going to use your platform to just perpetuate this bickering? To continue with this political discourse that is really nothing more than I know you are, but what am I? The federal government has a law in the books that incentivizes state and local CPS agencies to remove children from good homes. And they return children to bad homes with the thought that they'll just get the child vetted in a few months anyways. The federal government actively protects and funds the wholesale slaughter of American citizens from coast to coast under the guise of women's reproductive rights. State governments, specifically state trial judges, regularly make due process mean what they want. And they make the outcomes of the cases fit their own narrow view of the world. They regularly act outside the law. And normal everyday people like me have no recourse if we get caught up in this mess. It doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter if you know your rights. It doesn't matter if you can... Um, cite more case law than the attorneys in court with you. What matters is the squeaky wheel gets the grease. The nail that's sticking up is going to get hammered. Our system is broken. Our system is broken to such a degree that I don't have faith in it anymore. Um, and I believe in America. I believe in our exceptionalism. I believe in liberty. I don't believe in this federal government or most state governments' desire. I don't believe in their desire or their will to perpetuate these things, at least in their pure, unadulterated form. Now, if everything I know about American political theory is correct, that means I am in, in a consensual relationship with the governments above me. That these relationships are based on a delegation of authority from me to them so they can take care of certain things. Um... So I can enjoy my freedom. So I can pursue happiness, as it were. 
Um, namely, they keep me from getting invaded by foreign countries, and they keep the majority from tyrannizing me. That's what they're supposed to do. Uh, they're not doing that, though. <clears throat> but it's weird because it's more often than not nowadays small minority special interest groups who do the tyrannizing um, or misguided politicians thinking they're doing the right thing and pass absurd laws or overzealous government bureaucrats misinterpreting or misapplying statutes that's doing the tyrannizing and there's no recourse so uh, I withdraw my consent, you know, I withdraw my consent, because if the Me Too movement taught me anything is that consent can be withdrawn at any time, and it has to be respected. If I enter into a arrangement, a relationship, any sort of engagement, or that, anything like that, if I enter into it willingly, consensually, but then I'm prevented from leaving by force, then that's not really consent. You know, if a girl agrees to have sex with me, but as we get going, as things start to get hot and heavy, she says, well, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't pull a gun and say, too late, you already consented. Because that's rape. Um, is the government going to rape me? Is it going to rape any of us? Because I mean, that's what it is, right? Uh I don't mean to make light of, you know, women who are violated or even men who are violated in this manner, but... How else would you describe it if I'm not allowed to leave this consensual arrangement cons at my own at my own behest? You know, I don't need permission. Um, but mm, the the rot is so widespread that I don't think it can be fixed. You know, now there's probably some good people in some of these governments you know who want to do the right thing but if we're all in a burning building and I'm like hey guys it's on fire we gotta get out you would be a fucking retard to tell me well we're just gonna redo the kitchen cabinets and everything will be fine or we're gonna put new carpet on the steps and everything will be okay or no, you know what? You know what we'll do? We'll put an addition on the back. We'll put a sunroom. Uh, and we'll put a breakfast nook on the back. And that'll make everything okay. You would... Like, that'd be the most retarded shit ever, right? Well, we're in a burning house. And people keep telling me... That all we gotta do is replace some inconsequential things on the inside. Or add on to this gargantuan thing and that's the fix well I think that's retarded and I refuse to accept that the only way that this can be fixed if we want to preserve this whatever this is if we want to preserve this then we have to get out we have to get out and rescue as many people as possible knock out a load bearing wall let the structure collapse and burn down to nothing then we rake the ashes and start again and you'll have to forgive me if I seem like this I'm, I'm putting this in a bit of an extreme fashion but the fact of the matter is, is the long arm of the law has fucking disrupted my life in such a foundational fundamental way that it's taken every bit of strength for me to keep it together and the messed up thing is, is the law is 100% on my side. But no one who is within the system, whose duty is solely to protect the rights of the citizens, to secure the rights of the citizens, no one cares about that. They only care about their own narrow view of the world and what they think is best. Now, 
I'd be happy to talk about what's going on. But it's kind of like a weird thing, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm in the right, but you don't want to talk about it. Like, it's strange. It's so strange. If you've ever, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, which I'll drop a link, you know, um, I talk about it a little bit on there, but I've never in my life been so right, but yet so completely and totally wrong. And, uh, We need to wake up. You need to wake up and realize, or you need to realize and see what's going on, and you need to think about what the fuck do you want to do, you know? Because you're either part of the solution, or you are the fucking problem. Um, do better. Do better. Set goals and work towards those goals. But it's time to start picking sides the Indiana State Constitution it uh it's a pretty awesome thing the way ours is structured is that the Bill of Rights is the first thing you know it uh has a little preamble And then it goes right into the Bill of Rights. Article 1, Section 1. It's titled Inherent Rights. Alright? Article 1, Section 1. We declare that all people are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that all power is inherent in the people, and that all free governments are and of right ought to be founded on their authority and instituted for their peace, safety, and well-being. For the advancement of these ends, the people have at all times an indefeasible right to alter and reform their government. I hereby invoke my inherent rights under the Indiana Constitution and as Described in the Declaration of Independence. Uh, I don't consent to this anymore. I don't consent to this corrupted system controlling me and, and dictating to me how my life will be lived. When all I want to do is live in peace and be left alone. <laughs> now, all you people that are going to listen to this who are from either better socioeconomic positions... Or just haven't experienced a lot of hardship in life. Disregard me. Disregard the ideas. If you want. I'm easily disregarded. But the ideas. You disregard at your own peril. Um, what are you going to do? 